Hello everyone, it's Sean and welcome back to my channel. We've got this uh, really cool little RC helicopter. For those of y'all who uh, seen these traditionally being demonstrated in your local mall, uh, my oldest son got one a while back and if you could tell by the blades on it, it's well, well used and, and uh, it's given them quite a bit of fun. Uh, but it's no longer charging and we need to figure out why now what can I say about this helicopter or well, if you if you get one and you have kids in your house that have uh, long hair such as my daughter's um, you know no matter how much vacuuming and sweeping and cleaning you do around the house you always tend to get a lot of hair caught up in the blades uh, from them flying around and um, stirring up dander or just the kids in general playing with them. So just something worthy to note that, uh, you know, if you have one of these, you're gonna quite often be clean hair and other dirt and debris that accumulates uh, right here on th this axle that controls the uh, upper blades, propellers, whatever you wanna call them. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing and uh, hit that thumbs up button if you if you like the content that you're viewing today uh, also I manage a patreon where I release my YouTube content early as well as uh, provide exclusive videos on uh, electronics principles and test equipment and uh, and uh, electrical engineering so quite a bit of things that I try to teach in a very fun and hopefully informative uh, way but anyways, uh, we'll move on to, to this guy. The first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and check the uh, power supply. Now, I'm, this is the cable that came with it, but I'm just using this little wall work phone charger to uh, essentially uh, see if it's, uh, uh, or to provide the supply power. But uh, we can pin it out and see what we're getting and uh, no issue there 4.7 volts it's pretty steady not wavering around so we'll say that this charging cable was good now typically when you plug it in you see how that light came on for a brief second I'll do it again you see the LED lit up and then went away when you plug it into the bottom here uh, usually that LED lights up and it stays lit up, but that is no longer occurring. And even as I toggle this on and off switch, uh, we get no change. Now, the actual port did receive some jet damage, um, most likely due to my kids uh, playing with this. Um, but the pins are still here, so we should at least get something indicating that it is charging uh, but you know obviously that's not occurring so let me get this taken apart and, and we'll start investigating Honestly, did not have too far to to disassemble this essentially one side now I could take off the other side of this uh, clamshell uh, you know the case if I wanted to but didn't need to go that far because we can clearly see that the battery is dis been disconnected from the post over here now as far as the screws are concerned there were two long screws and so I marked them uh, with a little bit of a uh, silver uh, sharpie marker so I knew where they would go back but um, maybe it'd be better if I just pulled my camera off so I can show you a couple things all right there we go now the battery itself uh, our positive lead from what I can tell was most likely soldered to this point right here but we also have what I hope is an antenna wire 
Uh, I hope that's the antenna running this for length, full length. Otherwise, we have another point right back in here that also needs to get soldered. Um, but we can at least put the solder of the battery back in place and then give it a quick test with its remote to see if um, everything is functioning as it should. So let me get to the repair. fairly easy uh, you just gotta be careful because this little LED sitting right here in the upper right corner likes to pop out I'll tell you what I'll do barring uh, how this thing tests I'll probably just use a tad bit of glue not a whole lot of mount because I don't want to add addition a whole lot of additional weight to this toy otherwise it's gonna throw its balance off but I'll probably add a bit of glue to here and uh, some current formal coating or glue on top of that but uh, for now let's at least plug this in to see if this LED starts to light up and it does so we have charge again that's good let me go get the uh, the controller for it and we'll test it out well the controller is sunk just fine uh, both devices are on. Let's see if the propeller, main propeller pairs work. They appear like they are. Let's check the back propeller. And it appears to be working as well. And I can tell a difference in the trim as I hold it. The air movement, so I think we're good there too. Well, that being said, let me put everything back together and uh, we'll take it out for a spin after it's charged for a bit. Well, it's going to be kind of hard to demonstrate this one-handed, but uh, hopefully we can get some flight. Whoa! Well, there we have it, folks. A nice, quick little repair video and demonstration, despite my inability to control it, especially one-handed. Now, I did, uh, outside of recording, spend some time uh, playing with it, so now I'm going to charge it again. Uh, for my kids to enjoy once it's fully charged. But anyways, I appreciate that you've taken time out of your busy day to watch. Take care and goodbye. Mark?